Hey, what's going on everyone? Seth Miranda here for Adorama TV with the Armor Lock from G-Tech. And uh, you know it has to be a special hard drive. I'm gonna come here and do a video about it. I'm gonna do a video on every drive. We did do one on the G-Drive mobile SSD, which I was super impressed with. You can check out the uh, link to that video in the description below. But for now, what's up with this one? Well, just like the G-Drive mobile SSD, this one's super rugged. Uh, so a thousand pound crush proof, you can drop it reasonably and uh, it's IP67 rating, which means it's dust and water resistant. So that's pretty good for a drive that you take with you to location on set, or even ship the drive if you're working with people remotely for all across the place. Like if you film in one location, send it to an editor somewhere else. But that's only for the physical. What about what's actually on the drive itself? What about the data that's on here? We're living in the age of leaks. We're watching productions be compromised by the production, the product they're creating, being leaked out there to the public, lowering the value of what we're creating out there. And this affects jobs, careers, production houses, the list goes on of all the people it uh, affects. So what did G-Tech do about it? Well, they created the Armor Lock. And this is kind of an interesting drive because aside from the ruggedness, it also is paired with a mobile app and a desktop app that lets you pair the app to the drive. So you can actually have a list of multiple Armor Lock drives in there and also encrypt them with 256-bit encryption to allow access to users and take away access to different users. So if you're working on a production and a crew, and let's say you need to get it to an editor, I can ship this with only myself and my editor allow having access to this drive. Or let's say we parted ways from that editor, we're on a new project, we're still using this drive, or whatever happens that you don't want someone to have access anymore, you can remove them as an admin to the Armor Lock drive. This is amazing, this is fantastic, especially for uh, people that have to work remotely now, we're constantly all splintered apart. We're not all together. We're not physically giving the drives to people anymore right now. So for you to have that extra peace of mind that your product, that production you put together, everything you poured into it is protected with all this encryption and your ability to control who has direct access to it by the person is phenomenal. And setting this up is super, super easy. Once you start the app up, it's already gonna get you going step by step and let you know exactly how to use it and get the drive connected to that app. And with the QR code right here on the back, it activates your camera once you give it permission to. And after you have Bluetooth connected so it can find the drive, once the camera sees the QR code on this drive specifically, you now have access to controlling who has access to the information on the drive itself. All right, so let's plug the drive into my Mac and pretend like the Mac is a remote user that wants to have access to the drive and I am the admin right here in my phone by using the QR code. So once you plug in the drive and you have the app open on your desktop, whether it be Mac or Windows, uh, you can then just follow the prompts. And once you get to the code, what you're gonna do is turn the drive over and there's going to be an eight digit code right there under the QR code for you to manually punch in it gets you into the app, but you still need access granted to you. So we request the access by just getting into the Armor Lock app on our phone, putting it to the QR code on the screen as the remote user. And then me as the admin, I can look at the Armor Lock app on my phone and then grant them that access. So now this MacBook has access granted to the drive thanks to myself granting myself that access via the mobile app. So this is two devices using the armor lock and one asking for access, the other one granting access. So you can just see how that would play out. And this can work for multiple users and I can also just deny them or reject them off of the uh, admin or the access list through the app. All right, so that's gonna do it for me here with the G-Tech armor lock drive. So hit me with a question down below in the comments. If you wanna know anything about my experience setting it up or using it, I'll do my best to answer that. Don't forget to like, share this video around and hit subscribe plus the bell to get notified when more videos like this come out. And I'll see you guys next time, later. So far away. <laughs>